physics solid means any solid shape but in mathematics we call solid to can you see the screen everyone so here solid means three dimensional shapes so you have already learned the concept of three dimensional shape like cone cylinder uh, cube cuboid these are three dimensional shape and that you have learned the concept in class 9 right how exactly the shape look like what is the radius what is the height how to go ahead in the previous chapter also we were taking the concept of i believe the solids so here we will be having the combination of solids okay so maybe there will be a combination of a shape a shape will be there just like this one just like this one just like this one we can have a cone and below that we can have a semicircle like this not a semicircle hemisphere okay these are spheres that is cone so we can have a combination of shape like this one or we can also have a combination of shape like a cylinder and then we can have something like this okay so these are the <clears throat> these are few example of combination of shape all around like uh, in your daily life also you can see few shapes are there which are not just a cone which are not just a cylinder which are not just a sphere which is a combination of two or three shapes okay so here i am going to talk about those shape only uh one example you can take uh, if you have seen the uh, insulated flask where we keep the like a bottle where the upper part is semi circular then a cylindrical bottle is there have you seen such bottle right so we are going to take those figure and we will be discussing how to find the volume the surface area of this type of figure before moving ahead you must know what is the formula for area uh, surface area of cone what is the formula for surface area of the cylinder what is the formula for surface area of the sphere okay curved surface area total surface area everything must be clear to you so i'm not not going to list down all the formula over here the formula of cube cuboid uh, cylinder cone everything we will be taking the question and in between the question only we will uh, just i'll ask you what exactly is the formula for the given shape like whether it's a sphere whether it's a hemisphere or whatever we will be having so let's start with the first question here the first question is okay this is chapter 13 here the first question says two cubes each of volume each of volume 64 cm cube are joined end to end find the surface area of the resulting cuboid so here we are having one cube what is the difference between cube and cuboid 
And here also we are having one cube. Yes, anyone, what's the difference between cube and cuboid? Jasleen, Madiha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we can get the shape of cuboid when we will start stacking up rectangular. <laughs> like, suppose I'm having this rectangular sheet of paper, rectangle. Can you see it's a rectangle? So here, if I, same paper, if I start stacking up one above another, let me take few more. If I'm taking few more, few more, and if I will start stacking up together, and if I end up stacking up a lot of papers, we will end up getting a cuboid shape with the help of rectangles, right? Yeah, right? And you, when we will be using the squares, one above another, when you will stack up a square, a square, a square, a square, a square, you will end up getting cube, okay? So here, what exactly the question says, let's see. Figure is not given, we have to draw the figure. Two cubes, can you see I have drawn two cubes over here? Each of volume 64 centimeter cube, so volume of this one is 64 centimeter cube. And volume of this one is also 64 centimeter cube. That is given in the question. So when the volume is given, we can take it out the side of the cube. What is the formula for volume of the cube? What's the formula for volume of the cube? Yes, Jasleen. Volume of the Q formula is? It's? Um, I'm not getting. I think the voice is not clear. Is it side Q? Is it A Q? Yes, Madhiha. Is it a cube? Yes, ma'am. So let's take the volume as a side cube. So volume formula is side cube. That is 64. So can we find side from here? That is cube root of 64. What's cube root of 64? So 4, 4 times 16. We can write it as 4 times 4 times 4. And cube root of 64 is 4. So side of this cube is 4 centimeter. Here also since the other cube is also having the same volume. So here also we can say the side is 4 centimeter. This much information we are having. What else we have to do? So two cube, each of volume this much, are joined together. So we are taking this cube, we are taking this cube, and we are joining them together. Okay, let's join it together. Yeah, uh, we should join in such a way so that this shape must be here.
okay i am not so pro at uh, drawing uh, like good pictures and all still i am trying let's see whether we will be able to do that or not like i'll be able to do that or not can you see we are trying to join both the cubes yes okay so here the side was 4 cm here also the side is 4 cm so now it will look like a cuboid okay where the length of the cuboid we can easily say it's 4 cm plus four now what about breadth and height because it's a cuboid it will be having length breadth and height so if you will focus on the width so this is the width this is the width right which is still four can you see can you see the width or the breadth yes, so we can say the breadth of this cuboid is 4. What about height? So this is the height. Or we can say this is the height, which is still 4. Can you see? So we can say the height is also still 4. So what exactly is getting changed? When you are joining two cubes, only the length is getting changed breadth and height is exactly same just like the cube one okay now we got length we got breadth we got height what exactly we have to find we have to find the surface what? area of the resulting cuboid what is the formula for surface area of cuboid Yes, anyone, you can write it in the chat box also. Okay, I'm waiting for your response. What is the formula for surface area of cuboid? Meanwhile, I'm checking the next question. We already know length, we already know breadth, we already know height. We just have to find the surface area of the cuboid by using length, breadth and height. Yeah. yeah. It's twice of length times breadth, then breadth times height, then height times length, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you can use the formula and you can find the surface area of the cuboid. So we can say it's two into length into breadth, breadth into height, and then height into length. Okay. This way you can find the surface area of the cuboid. And that's what we have to find it over here. Read the question. Two cube each of volume. This one are joined end to end. We have joined them end to end. Find the surface area of the resulting cuboid. We can easily find the surface area of resulting cuboid. Is it clear? Let's move yes. to the next question. Just a moment. Let me open it. Number two. Here it says a whistle, a whistle is in the form of a hollow hemisphere mounted. by a hollow cylinder
the diameter of the hemisphere is 14 centimeter and total height of the vessel is 13 centimeter find the inner surface area of the vessel let's do it okay we will be reading the question step by step statement by statement and then we will be making the figure of that so a vessel is in the form of hollow hemisphere mounted by a hollow cylinder. So there is a hollow hemisphere. Like this, mounted by a hollow cylinder. Maybe like this. The diameter of the hemisphere is 14 centimeter. Okay, the diameter is given. Diameter is 14 centimeter. So we can say the radius will be 14 by 2, that is 7 centimeter. Now, what else? The total and the total height of the vessel is given as 13 centimeter. So total height of this container is given as this from here till here. The total height is given as. 13 centimeter. What we have to find? Find the inner surface area of the vessel. We have to find the inner surface area of the container. Inner surface area, outward surface area, surface area exactly we have to find. When you will look at it and it's totally hollow, you will see a cylindrical surface area and then at the bottom you will see a hemispherical surface area. That's it. There will be no total surface area and all. This, this part, this part is hollow. This part is completely blank, hollow. Nothing is there. Okay. You will be able to just, uh, you will be able to look into it if you can visualize such shape. Are you able to visualize? Okay. Yeah. So from the top, you will be able to see till the bottom and you will find that there is no circular reason so obviously we are just going to think about the curved surface area not the total surface area okay now curved surface area of what curved surface area of this one and curved surface area of this one that's it so for curved surface area of hemisphere we know the formula is for whatever formula is there for a sphere that by two so for hemisphere curved surface area, 4 pi r square by 2. R we know, yeah we know. And what about the curved surface area of the cylinder? Anyone? No, I can see. What? Yes, uh, it's... What is the formula for curve surface area of cylinder? What you said, Jesseleen, you said or Madhya said? Please repeat it. Okay, chat box. Okay, you don't know. Uh, yes, Madhya, do you? No one. Okay. Have you seen this formula? Pi r square h and 2 pi r h. Which one is for volume and which one is the curve surface? Yeah. 
Let me write it. Uh, the crop surface is. Yeah, here only I want to explain one more concept. If you are getting confused, uh, so if you will take a circular flat surface, okay, a circular flat surface. Suppose you have taken a circular sheet, okay. Now you are taking another circular sheet. Now you are taking another circular sheet. So let me draw it. Circle, then circle, then circle. All same circle, okay? I'm talking about same circle. Circle, then circle, then circle. Or let me draw it more appropriately, which will look like if I'm having a cylinder, Can I say it is made up of one circle, then here circle, then here circle. Or if you will take a bangle, okay? You must like must be having bangle in your collection of jewelry, right? You are already in class 10. So bangles, if we will take, and if we will stack up one bangle, another bangle, another bangle, another bangle, another bangle, what you will end up having at last? A cylinder, right? yes or no? We will be having a cylindrical shape when we will start, start stacking a bangle, 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 bangle. So that time what exactly we are having this area of each one is pi r square. And how many bangles totally you have taken? Suppose h bangles you have taken. So pi r square h will give you the volume of the cylinder. From where it came? It just came from the bangle concept only. That pi r square, pi r square, pi r square, pi r square, pi r square. This way we have just made the height h. So pi r square into h is the volume of the cylinder's formula. And what about this uh, surface area? So if I'm taking, if I'm taking this rectangular seat, can you see it? Can you see rectangular seat over here? I'm going to make cylinder out of it. Can you see the cylinder? Yes, ma'am. This is the curve surface area. How this curve surface area is made? Length into breadth. This length when I am folding, can you see it is taking up the circular path? Yes, ma'am. So length, length of this one is 2 pi r. I'm going to write it over here. That length of my circular, uh, my uh, rectangular seat, this rectangular seat I'm having, whose length is 2 pi r. And height is, like breadth is h. Okay? Now when I will be making and folding it, so this is 2 pi r. And this is H. Area of this total is area of this rectangular seat is length into breadth. That means 2 pi r into H. And that is only giving us this rectangular seat area I am using to make the curved surface of the cylinder. Can you see? So area of this cur cylindrical curved surface, like curved surface area of this cylindrical shape will be 2 pi r h. Why 2 pi r h? This 2 pi r came from the circumference and h is the height we are taking. And it just came from the rectangles area formula. Rectangles area is length into breadth. Here length is working as a 2 pi r and breadth is working as a height. So we are just multiplying length into breadth to get the area. And that area is serving the purpose of curved surface area or cylinder. Will you forget the formula now that curve surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r h? No. And what about the volume of the cylinder? 
one circle another circle another circle another circle h circle we will make and that will give us the volume formula that is pi r square into h is it clear usually when we find the volume we take area times height so we have taken area pi r square and that times height so this is how this formula came and this this concept we discuss uh, when we introduce what exactly is solids okay so just keep in mind that the formula the curved surface area formula for the cylinder is 2 pi r h but what about total surface area what what will happen when i am going to tell you that this is the cylinder and i am going to cover it with a circular lid i am going to cover it cover this one with a circular lid what will be the total surface area so you will say total surface area will be curved surface plus this circular lid area pi r square plus this circular lid area that is pi r square so let me write it total surface area of the cylinder formula is here we, you are going to cover it with a circular lid okay you here also you are going to cover it with a circular lid so total surface area of cylinder became 2 pi r h this one's area plus the top one pi r square plus the bottom one pi r square so if it, exactly it became 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square sometime we also write it as 2 pi r common h plus r but from where it exactly came from here it exactly came that total surface area means curve surface then top part like the top one and the bottom one also getting it yeah. let's continue with our question so the question was a vessel is in the form of a hollow semi sphere hollow means there is no cover upside there is no cover downside the vessel is in the form of hollow hemisphere mounted by a hollow cylinder. The diameter of the hemisphere is given. The total height of the vessel is given. Find the inner surface area. We have already discussed when you will look at it from the top, you will be able to see the total inner cylinder and then below that a hemispherical shape also you will be able to see. There will be no cover in between. Okay. So for finding the total surface area, we have to just find the surface area of the hemisphere. We have to find the surface area of the cylinder and both when we will be adding up together, we will end up getting the total uh, surface area of this container. Okay, now surface area of the sphere formula is 4 pi r square. This 4 pi r square, when we will divide it by 2, we will get the surface area of the hemisphere. What about surface area of the cylinder? Now only I have explained you. The curved surface area formula is 2 pi r h. r, we already know. r will be same like the hemisphere one. That is 7 centimeter. What about height? So for height, we can take this concept. For height, we can say this is a hemisphere. Here we have taken out the radius as 7 centimeter. This much. Can we say this much is also a radius? That is 7. Can we say? Yes. So if this much is 7 centimeter, and total is 13 centimeter, then easily we can take it out the height of only cylinder. Okay, that is 13 minus 7. That is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So 5, 5 or 6, 6. Right? 6 centimeter is the height of the this cylinder. Now we just have to find 
the curved surface area of the cylinder and the curved surface area of the hemisphere. This formula will give the curved surface area of the hemisphere and this formula will give the curved surface area of the cylinder. We just have to add both of them. Height of the cylinder, we already know it is six. Radius of the cylinder, we already know it is seven. And two pi we will be writing as it is and then we just have to do the simplification. Is it clear to both of you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's move ahead. A toy is in the form of a cone. of radius 3.5 centimeter mounted on a hemisphere. It uh, Again, it looks like same type of question. Okay, let me draw the figure. Hemisphere of same radius. And then I'll be leaving this for you without uh, explaining uh, a lot. The total height of the toy is 15.5 centimeter. Find the total surface area. Okay, a toy is in the form of cone of radius given. Let's draw the cone. This of radius already given 3.5 centimeter. Mounted on a hemisphere. So this toy is mounted on a hemisphere. Okay of same radius. So hemisphere radius is also same. Okay. The total height of the toy, the total height of the toy is given 15.5 centimeter. Does it looks like the previous question where we will be able to take out the height of the cone just with the help of radius? Yes. Okay. So easily from 15.5, if you, if you will take it out 3.5, you will end up having the height of this cone. So 15.5 minus 3.5 will be 12. So 12 centimeter is the height of the cone only. Find the total surface area of the coin, uh, of the toy. Total surface area means surface area of the top part and the surface area of the bottom part. Okay, total surface area is only the, we, we don't have to think about, we don't have to break the toy and we have to look at the uh, diameter, like, like the circular reason. We don't have to do it. Total surface area means whatever you can see from outside. We can only see this much portion from the outside, okay? There is no circular reason in between that. So we will be just taking out the surface area of the cone and the surface area of the hemisphere. Hemisphere surface area is 2 pi r square. Now only we have discussed that. And surface area of the cone formula is, do you know, is it, it's pi r l? Do you know? Right. Here, do we know l slant height? We don't know slant height. But we will be able to find the slant height since we know the height is 12 and we also know this much is 3.5 by taking right angle triangle with the help of Pythagoras theorem, we will be able to take out the slant height L that is under root 12 square plus 3.5 square, right? Will you be able to take it out?
Yes, Madiha and Jasleen. Do I need to do it or you will be able to continue from here? Okay. Okay, I'm leaving this for you. Try it. Let's move to the next question. So the next question is, a cubical block of side 7 cm is surmounted by a hemisphere what is the greatest diameter the hemisphere can have and also it says find the surface area of the solid find the surface area of the solid okay let's draw the figure so a cubical blo block is there okay a block is there which is in the form of cube. Let's try it. I have drawn a cubical block, okay? Now what exactly it says a cubical block of side seven centimeters. So as we know, cube is having like all side of the cube is same. So it's seven centimeter side is there. It's surmounted by your hemisphere. So here we are having a hemisphere. Let's try Let me take another color. Here we are having a hemisphere. Just a moment. Can you can you see? Can you visualize the figure? Yes, On the cubical block, there is a hemisphere. What is the greatest diameter the hemisphere can have? So the greatest diameter this hemisphere can have is the side of the cube. That is seven centimeter. Okay. So we have to take that diameter. So we know the radius of this hemisphere will be seven by two centimeter. Now find the surface area of the solid. So for finding the surface area of the solid, now visualize the shape. I don't have anything which by using which I can show you. Uh, I wanna say, okay, let me take one example I can see over it. Okay, suppose this is a cubical block. Can you see? 
Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. let's imagine this is a cubicle block. Now on this one, we are having a hemispherical uh, a top. So suppose this mouse, which I have taken, this is a hemispherical block. Can you see it? Can you see? Now, if you have to find the total surface area of this shape, definitely this this bottom part. If you are finding the curves of, uh, if you are finding the total surface area of this one, and then you are taking the total surface area of this one and adding them together, that is fine. But while taking the total surface area of the cube, you have taken this portion also, right? Total surface area means this surface, this surface, this surface, this surface, this surface. And for that, we are having a formula. Okay. For Q, total surface area formula is there. For hemisphere, total like surface area formula is there. We can take it out only the upper part, the curved surface. Right. But what about this portion, which is getting covered? Can you see what I'm trying to say? the part which is getting covered over here, what about this part? We have to exclude this part from the whatever area we have found. We have found the area of the cube. We have found the area of the hemisphere. We are joining them together. But from in the cube, this part, this much part is not visible. If I will tell you, go and paint the this toy where these two are attached with each other. Go and paint it. So you will paint everything, the top, the bottom, all the area you will paint. But this area, will you plug it and paint, just paint it over here? No. This is totally attached with each other. So you are going to leave it as it is, right? Yes. Yeah. So you are not going to just pull them and just break them and then you will be painting. No, it is attached with each other. So once you will come over here, you will start painting the upper part. Okay, then you will paint this part. So this way you will do the painting. That means you are excluding this much portion where this hemisphere is sitting, right? So while finding the total area let me write the formula over here i am going to write find the surface find the surface area of the solid so surface area of the solid will be surface area of cube plus surface area of hemisphere minus this much minus this yellow part okay which is just stuck with that cube so you are going to write minus area of that circle area of circular portion what is the surface area of the cube formula do you know that is it 6a square Do you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 6a square plus surface area of hemisphere, only the curved surface area, okay? We are not going to talk about the total surface area of the hemisphere. So surface area of the hemisphere will be this much, that is 4 pi r square by 2, that will be 2 pi r square plus minus the circular portion which is getting covered okay, which is getting covered and we have to exclude that from the cubes area. From the cubes area, we have to exclude that circular portion because when we are painting everything, 
we will not paint that region. Okay, so minus pi r square. Is it clear to everyone? We will just put the values over here. We know the side of the cube, 7 centimeter. We know the radius of the hemisphere. That is the biggest radius, biggest diameter it can have is 7 centimeter. So we know the radius of the hemisphere. We also know the radius of the circular region. That is uh, 7 by 2 only. Okay. So easily we can just substitute the values over here and we will be able to take out the total surface area of this toy. Clear? Is it clear, Madiha and Jasleen? Yes, ma'am. Let's move to one more question and then we will be wrapping it up. A hemispherical depression is cut out from one face of a cubicle then block such that the diameter L of the hemisphere is equals to the edge of the cube determine the surface area of the remaining solid. So it says a hemispherical depression. Depression, inclination, like depression means something going down. Okay. Inclination means something going up. Right. So a hemispherical depression is cut out from one face of cubical wooden block. Again, cubical wooden block. Let's draw it. Here we are, from this cubical wooden block, we are taking out one hemispherical shape. We are cutting out one hemispherical shape. Okay, suppose you are having a block like this. And from there, you are ju just cutting up a, a hemispherical shape from there. So we can say This type of hemispherical shape I am going to cut out from here. Let me take another color so that you can visualize the shape. Okay, suppose like this. You are cutting out this much portion. Now when you will just look at in, inside the wooden box, you will see there is a hemispherical shape which has been cutted out from there. Okay. Determine the surface area. Or uh, this is also given that such that the diameter L of hemisphere is equals to age of the cube. So diameter of this hemisphere L that is equals to edge, edge of the cube. Okay, so edge of the cube is L. Diameter of the hemisphere is L. Hence the radius of the hemisphere will be L by 2, right? 
determine the surface area of the remaining portion now here you must have like a proper understanding of surface area what exactly is surface area when i am telling i, I want to find the surface area of this one that means i am just going to find this 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 and this surface area i am not going to see whatever is inside that even if that uh, shape is like uh, suppose you can just see inside that cylindrical shape suppose we are having this box can you see cylindrical box when i am telling the surface area i will just focus on surface okay the surface surface i am not going to see what exactly is there inside that okay that is not my concern surface area means the area of the surface only surface if inside that hemi spherical is there whatever is there when we are talking about the surface area i am just going to focus on the surface of this uh, cover okay so similarly when we are going to think about the surface area of the wooden box that will be only the outside part this total part all around that the upper part the downward part that's it that that is the surface area of the wooden box now from there if you are cutting out hemi sphere then what will be the surface area still the surface area everywhere it will remain same bottom all around it everywhere it re remains same only at the top can you see i don't know whether it is visible or not only at the top you will see a hollow kind of this structure can you see this hollow so only everything in surface area is same when you are cutting out hemisphere conical shape whatever you are cutting out surface area means we don't have to bother about whatever going inside we just have to take the surface and that's area so when you are talking about the surface area of the wooden box everything will remain same but only in the top you will see there is some portion which is missing right right yes ma'am so that missing portion we have to eat. subtract it while finding the surface area of this wooden blocks so what i can say i can say surface area of this wooden block will be surface area of cubes formula that is 6a square from there i can see left right top bottom everything all the surfaces well only at the top i can see some portion is missing that portion is the circular portion that is missing okay yes so let's see what exactly the question says so a hemi spherical depression is cut out from one of the face of a cubical wooden block such that diameter l of the hemisphere is equals to edge of the cube determine the surface area of the remaining solid so for finding the surface area of the solid we will be finding the surface area of this one from there we have to exclude that top part okay because top portion pi r square is missing from there while finding the surface area you have taken area of this surface 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 all combined together gives the formula 6a square in that 6a square you can see there is a one hole on the top okay so that is missing now with that we also have to think about the surface area of this this hemi spherical bowl okay this much so we also have to find the surface area of this one and that we have to add it with this one so hemi spheres area surface area is it making sense to you yes 
yes ma'am so while finding the surface area we will be covering all the surface whatever you can touch okay if you will go and touch this solid you will find here i am i don't have that a uh, proper shape just like which i can show you but if you can visualize it you can understand surface area means whatever surface you can touch with your hand bottom this one this one cubicle you can touch and then you can just move your hand and you can also touch the hemispherical portion so obviously you have to take the area of the hemisphere and then area of the total box from that the upper lid is not there so that we are subtracting it that's it 